What's going on, Nasty Nation? It's Nasty, and in today's video, I'm going to be breaking down an engage that I had in one of my recent games, uh, just as a way to kind of explain how to properly engage as Rakan. Uh, I'm not necessarily a one-trick, but I feel like Rakan is my most played champion, and it's the champion that I'm most well-known for, uh, so I figured I was kind of uh, in a good spot to give you guys my inside expert opinion, I guess, kind of break this down and give you guys uh, my thoughts on how to properly engage as Rakan. So this is the uh, the replay of the game that I was playing. Uh, you're going to see in, in this game, we have a team comp that basically relies on wombo combos. Uh, I picked Rakan in this game specifically because we had a lot of damage, not a lot of engage. Uh, Wukong can kind of engage, but he gets melted down really easily. Uh, so it's better if he kind of follows up on an engage, and instead I'm the one that engages, and that's why I picked Rakan. Uh, so our team, it's, it's 12 to 8, it's a pretty close game. Uh, what we want to do right now is because, like I was just mentioning, we do have a, a wombo combo team fight kind of comp. We want to force the enemy team to fight us. So uh, you can already hear the Draven Axe twirling in the background. He's ready to take down this dragon. Uh, the whole team kind of groups up around this dragon. Karthus is maybe just a little bit behind. Uh, but we group up on this dragon because our thought process is if we can force the enemy team to contest this dragon, that's a free team fight, and that's what we want to do. As, go, as you'll go on to see, though, uh, we melt this dragon down really easily, and they don't even contest it. I guess it's just a cloud dragon, so in their in their mind, there's just no need to contest it. Uh, waste their lives over uh, just a cloud dragon. Uh, now we're going to push down the mid lane. I'm going to go over here onto the Silas. No harm done here, even though I missed the W. I'm going to wrap back around. So as uh, this plays out, you're actually going to see I make a, a little bit of a mistake. Uh, and it actually almost hurts my team and almost prevents me from... Uh, actually engaging and that mistake is right here so Silas jumps over the wall and I W in on him the reason that this is a mistake is because my team is not in a position to capitalize on this we only have three people here uh, Wukong's down in the bot lane um, even if I do land this W and I do land this W nothing good happens from it right the 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 best case scenario is I get a proc my spell thieves a couple times. Uh, worst case scenario is I waste my W here and then they can engage on us 5v4. Um, and that's kind of what happens. I use my W here, sure I get a proc my spell thieves, but now that they see it's a 4 versus 5 and my W is down, they get to engage on us for free. Let me switch the directed camera back again. So they're going to engage on us for free here. And now with my W down, I can't engage, right? Uh, so my thought pro process right now is I just messed up and in order to make up for it, I just need to fo focus on peeling right now. So they hard engage, Karthus has a nice flash to get out of range, Sled comes in, I'm just autoing for a, a second there just because that's all I can do. Uh, once my W is going to be back up in a second, uh, my thought process is now to engage. And this is where I'm really going to break down how to properly engage as Rakan. Uh, so back in the day, back when Rakan was at its peak, at his peak, uh, all you would have to do is just RW, right? It was really, really simple. Uh, now there's that half second window in which you can't use your R. So it makes things a little, um, little difficult. Uh, a lot of Rakan players, what they'll try to do, and this is actually what I do in this uh, clip, is they'll pop the R, they'll walk through the enemies, and then use their W. Uh, this is the maximum CC chain that you could do, but it's very, very risky, and you don't always want to do it. Uh, and that's just because uh, that half second window between your ultimate and your R, you can get bursted down really easily, you can get CC'd. Uh, there's a lot of things that can happen uh, that'll kind of just turn the team fight in the enemy's favor, which is something you obviously don't want to do. However, in this uh, situation, like I said, I had already messed up. I put my team in a bad uh, situation, so I'm on peel mode. My only goal right now is to peel. Uh, so if you are just looking for like a hard engage, um, I can't really show you because this is a different clip. If I had another clip, I would show you. Uh, if you're looking to just hard engage, what you kind of want to do is start up your R, build up this movement speed, um, flash if you have it, and then go onto the enemy. Um, that's how you kind of want to hard engage. When you're in peeling mode, you do want to do the fully extended the extended cc chain so i i auto while my r or my my w is down on the cled i use my shields just while we're running backwards i use my r through the cled r through these three people right here i can't even see Rengar at this point so this is in my mind everybody that i could have charmed i have to wait a second for my w knock up get a three or four man knock up there wukong comes in and we clean up this fight really really easily kind of butchered that whole thing because we were a little busy pausing and breaking things down so let me just run it back real quick so you guys can see it in all of its glory charm into three man charm into three man or four man knock up into the wukong ultimate so those are the two different ways that you want to be engaging as Rakan. there is either the uh full-blown hard engage in which you're uh building up your movement speed you're starting your r from off of the enemy screen and then you're gonna run up them 
uh, and W or flash W on them, or there's the full peel mode. Uh, this is a little bit riskier, but it is a longer CC chain, a little bit more difficult to do. Um, you don't always want to do this because like I mentioned, you can get CC, you can die within that half second window. Uh, but when you're in full peel mode in an example like this, where I kind of messed up put my team in a bad situation, this was my only play that I had to go for. That is what you want to do. I want to watch it one more time just because I want to. Pretty good play if I do say so myself. Again, healing. Three man charm, three man knock up. Flash out so I don't die. Lupon comes in for the wombo combo. Don't even need the Karthus ulti. We ace them. We, uh, as I'll for fast, forward, he'll fast forward here, you'll see. We end up getting Baron off that. Uh, and then we win the game within like five minutes or so. Uh, so I hope this video was able to help you guys. Uh, if you guys did enjoy this video, if you found it helpful, be sure to leave a like on the video. Subscribe to the channel if you have not done so already. That'll do it for me though. Uh, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace. I could do this all day, I could do this all night, all month, all year for my whole entire life. Who you know got a home, but seen to live on the road, looking like a black gypsy.